guys, it's Full Kites here, live and direct from Montreal, Quebec, and I have a treat for you today, a rarity and a scarcity within the hobby. I have a box of 2002-2003 Upper Deck Classic Portraits. Looks a bit like a Greek fortress for us. It is a sick little box that contains a bust. So configuration, five cards per pack, 24 packs per box, which should amount to 120 cards. Base set one through one, honey. And the NHL protege rookies are 101 through 130, numbered to 1500. And within a box break, we would expect one of those mini busts, two men's, four rookies, and five to six inserts. So what that means in terms of inserts is we are guaranteed one classic stitches jersey and we should receive either a starring cast jersey or a hockey headliners dual jersey. So two jerseys total with a half chance at a duel. And in terms of other inserts, two etched in times, 1.33 of the portrait of a legend, 1.33 of the pillar of strength and a genuine greatness insert. And with regard to the bus guys, the home jerseys would be the most prevalent, then the away jerseys, then the third jersey classic bus and glass bus. Uh, I believe the signed bus are only two per case, but there is in fact a Gordie Howe, there is a Patrick Wah, there are some great ones like a Marty Boudour or a Naginla. So what do you think guys? How about if we rock and roll it? You guys know this rookie class, do you not? It would be the Zetterberg, the Ron Hainsey, uh, the Jason Spezza, Patrick Sharp, all those guys. Sean Thornton, not Joe Thornton, of course. Rick Nash, uh, probably the most prominent, prevalent uh, one that you might be aiming for. So some good ones there. I'd like the Jason Spezza. All right, you know, all those guys. Jay Bomeister, Martin Gerber was in this year. So there you go. And let's get that seal peel the seal so i had a snafu guys i'll be honest with you a big major snafu i thought the bust would be within the box of course this product comes with a bust but it does not fit within this box so this is an old box that mirage trading had uh i kind of impulse bought it because i hadn't seen it in the wild in nature ever before so what I did, what I decided to do is go back and see if they can refund me. They said no, because they'd already taken the plastic off. Uh, they did give me some overtime packs. I don't know, three, four, five packs. I have three of them here. And so what I did decide to do is order a bust online to show you guys the bust that come with the product. So that I'll open up uh, last. And it's in this box that arrived from the US. It's a big, massive box. I can barely show it on, on camera. So let's do it guys, let's proceed with the break. Regardless, uh, let's hammer through and through. Uh, direct sunlight, unfortunately, because of where I'm placed, but that's just the way it is. Uh, broken thumb and all. All right, nice Joe Sack to start us off. And this is what the backs look like. Very sort of Roman Coliseum vibe to them. There's Jerome McGinla. We have a filler and a thriller. We have a Keith Primo as well as something stuck. What is this stuck? Uh, we have a Marion Hosa as well as Nettie Belfour in front of the mic. Uh, very nice. Brad Richards, a Daniel Briere, Marcus Nasland. We have a Dougie Waite. And we do have our first insert here, and it looks to be none other than a Bobby Orr. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Legends insert, Portrait of a Legend, Bobby Orr. Very, very nice. Very rainbow foil forward, guys. We have a Roman Turek. We have a Paul Correa, a Peter Bondra, Tim Conley, as well as a J.S. Giger, a Jiggy Psychic. We have Brian Leach, Scotty Hartnell. Nice to see him. Celius a Tony Amante, as well as an Eric Lindros. Very nice. Very, very nice to see him up in it. 2002, guys. 2002. Uh, look at this, Oli the goalie. We have another insert. There's the Happy Bullen, and the insert is Netched in Time, and it is none other than Stevie Why Not. Why not? All right. Johan Hetberg, as well as the Marty Havlat. So 2002 draft, guys, back through time was Rick Nash, Kerry Lettinen, Jay Bowmeister, Mr. Pitkin and Whitney, Upshaw, Lupo, uh, who else? Uh, Pierre-Marc Bouchard was in it, uh, Tadasek, I think Eric Nystrom was number 10 in that draft. And there's a Dan Blackburn, the cat who, uh... oh, we have our first insert, I think. I think, I think it's hard to tell. These are so glued. So let's see what we have here, guys. 
We have a Marty Brodeur, kind of miss him. We have a Felix Potvin, as well as a Nicky Lidstrom. And let's see who is behind the Mike Dunham. And what do we have here, guys? We have an Upper Deck Classic Portraits. Uh, oh, it's a duel. Very nice. I think we had a 50% chance to hit one of these duels. And it's a goalie duel. And guess who it is? That is sick. So we definitely have a Patrick sighting, guys. And a David Abisher, also a have, one time have. Very, very nice, guys. We hit ourselves a Patrick insert dual jersey. David Abisher, double Colorado vibe. Very nice. And you can see how it's just sort of embossed a bit uh, because, you know, to get the jerseys in these very, very thin cards. Very, very nice. Okay, guys. Well, that is hot. That certainly makes up for the snafu already. A uh, man of multiple snafus I am. Uh, God, the sunlight is just bonkers today. Ziggy Palfi, Stevie Y, Rob Blake. There's the Patrick Watt base card, as well as, oh, look at this. It's one of the protégés, guys. And we hit the Spezza. Nice. I just gave a big um, Wayne Gretzky fist pump. That is very nice. Who did I ask for? This is exactly who I asked for. We hit the Spezza. Nice. Number to 1500. This is a true rookie card, guys. Uh, 126, true rookie card number to 1500 of Jason Spezza. Nice, nice, nice. All right. The stack delivered big time, guys. Big time. All right. Daniel Alfredson, Joey Noondike. I have to speed through these guys. Yashin, Gabrick, as well as Mike Comrie. Could be a very slow break. I just realized, I mean, 24 packs. We could be here all day and night. Manny Fernandez, Brandon Shanahan, Peter Forsberg, as well as the Mark Denis. Hey, there you go. And Ron Francis, GM of your Krakazoids. Craig Conroy, Danny Heatley, uh, Henlika, as well as the Matt Sundin with your Leaves captain. Oh, and there's Mario behind that. These things are pretty glued. It's gonna be a bit of an issue. There's the Mario. All right, I'm ungluing these bad boys as we go. So we have Theodore, we have Luongo, we have Marty Turco, we have a Medano, as well as a Jocelyn Tebow. So that's a goalie pack. Oh, well, unfortunately, I think we already hit our second Jersey card. So let's put that bad boy at the back. And let's see who it is. We have Marty Biron. We have Gary Roberts sighting. Wow. Nabokov. Uh, as well as this Zamnov. Oh, we have a Brun. So hopefully it's the guy on the box. Uh, Samsonov. Hopefully it's not Samsonov. And we have an Upper Deck Classic Stitches. So I think we're guaranteed one of these. And it's, <laughs> and it's none other than our man, Joe Thornton, one of my favorite players, because he's so unselfish. Uh, the other reason why I like Marner, actually, seventh all time in assists. I sort of postulate sometimes, because OB might pass Gretzky, that Gretzky could have had 1,000, maybe 1,200 goals had he been less uh, unselfish. Uh, we have a McGilney, we have a Marlowe. Uh, oh, we have an Eshton time as well. Okay, and look at this. We have a Mike Comrie action time, Rainbow Foily. We have the Jeremy Roenick, and who is, and it's Tom Covisto, a protege. So a lesser known protege, unfortunately. Uh, we get four rookies, so hitting the Spezza was definitely good, good stuff. All right, we have Mike LeClaire. We have Yara Yager. Uh, there is an etched in time of none other than Marty Brodeur. We have a Timu Solani sighting as well as a Johnny LeClaire, all the big names. 2002, uh, the best players from that draft class would be Rick Nash, who has the most points. Then Duncan Keith and Alexander Steen, Hilpla, and Semin uh, would be the highest point getters from that draft class. Keith Kachuk, Sean Burke, as well as a Scotty Niedemeyer, and an, uh, a Brunette, and a Curtis Joseph showing his chiclets. I'm super happy with what we're receiving thus far, guys. Uh, Mike Comrie, Martini again, so we have dupes. 
Shanahan, Peter Forsberg, and we do have an insert, and it is none other than another Patrick. So we hit the genuine greatness of Patrick. I think these are unnumbered, but they are beautiful. It has like a G for goalie, or greatness, I guess. Yeah, greatness, that makes more sense. Okay, so we have a Craig Conroy, we have Ron Francis, we have, oh, we have another hit, guys. We have another hit, wow. Uh, I think we're guaranteed two, so this is a bonus, guys. What a box. Francis Sandine Heatley, uh, behind the Linka, we have another hit, guys. So who would this be? Is the question and uh, let's see, it's a cap. Uh, it's funny, it looks like Eric Cole, but I think that's Bondra. Is that not Peter Bondra? And yeah, it's a Peter Bondra. I can't remember the last time I hit a Peter Bondra. Very, very cool, very underrated player. Okay, wow, Bondra. I mean, he put up some almost 900 points in his long career, over a thousand games. He's definitely a big boy, one of the big boys uh, that doesn't get enough press to my mind. And oh, these are all stuck again, guys. It's kind of annoying. Base pack, though. We have Mario. We have a. Oh, cool. We hit another one of the uh, proteges. So it is Volchenkov. Again, number to 1500, one of the protege rookie cards. Eliash, Allison, and Fedorov. Fedorov. All right. Uh, so, four rookies, I think there's 30 proteges on the checklist. So, that's like a 13% chance uh, to hit the guy you want to hit. So, that's why I was happy about the Spezza. Of course, we also want a Nash or a Zeta. Uh, Owen Nolan, Pekka, who I recently hit. So check out that break. Uh, Simon Gagné, Osgood, and Yannick Perot. Here comes the sun again. So we have a Saku Koivu, a Salo, a Knudsen, and a Ryan Smith, as well as a Kesla. Always nice to see my man, uh, Saku Koivu. So I think we are guaranteed one more rookie card. Uh, mindful we over-delivered on our jerseys. Okay, Rob Brandamore, there's Joe Thornton, uh, Jeff O'Neill, Rolston, as well as Vinny Le Cavalier. Bure, Arkhipov, Kozlov, a Drury, and a, an Arthur's Herbe. Okay. Two packs left, uh, hoping for one more Rook. Moro, Shatan, Kovalchuk, Kovalev, and Bryn Morrison. Last pack, guys, and then we'll open up our bust. This box is not a bust. Ooh, we have something here. So let's see what we have. See what, oh, we do have our last protege, I think, so that's good. And we have an insert, so that works out well. Uh, let's do it, guys. So we have Erdaze, we have Todd Bertuzzi. I think it's the first Todd Bertuzzi in the box. And our pillar of strength is none other than Jerome Ginla, Iggy, uh, HOF. We have Chris Pronger, as well as our last protege, guys. So, oh, we did it! We hit the Rick Nash. Very nice, very, very nice. We did it, guys. We hit the Nash, we hit the Nash and the Spedza. I mean, you know, as far as this class goes, these are two of the biggest boys you could possibly hit. Very nice. This was a great box. I'm not regretting it from Mirage. All right, guys, so let's open up the box and get our bust. There's the box. Oh, wow. I have no idea how big these boxes are. This thing's massive, guys. Ooh, this thing's big. Whoa. Uh, yeah, let's pull the bust out. Styrofoam of go go, guys. And here it is our bust reveal. Now you can see the bottom of it. The styrofoam's kind of coming apart. Yep, there it is, guys. There it is. What do you think? What do you think? Isn't that nice? It's massive. It is a huge, huge sucker. This thing is significant. It is handsome. The auto is beautiful. The auto is beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it cost a pretty penny to ship it from the US, uh, but at auction it cost me nothing, which is the good part. So all in, I was okay. All right, guys, time for the recap. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do quick, dirty, easy. 
It was a sick break, guys. We received the entirety of the base set, 100 base cards plus 10 bonus cards. We hit the Nash and the Spetzer rookie cards number to 1,500. A Marty insert, we hit a Iggy insert, we hit a Bobby Orr insert, and a Patrick insert. Our jersey cards were unbelievable. I hit a Bondra, I rarely hit Bondra jersey cards. We hit a Patrick duel with Abisher, and my man, one of my favorites all time because he's so unselfish, Joe Thornton. We hit a jersey card of his. And the hit of the break, guys, I supplemented the break because I didn't realize the scale of this puppy. This thing is massive, it is substantial, it is heavy, lofty, beautiful. Uh, this Iggy, Iginla, I love it. It's just so Roman Cathedral-esque. Uh, the auto looks pretty nice. Look at the back of it, look at the jersey, how cool is that? Uh, I'd say the likeness is actually pretty good compared to some of the other ones. Some of them don't even look close. And with Iggy, you have to talk about shading a bit. I can tell you in person, the shading is actually really nice. It's sort of a beautiful color. I love it, guys. I absolutely adore this. Iggy was 11th overall in 1995 with Dallas. Uh, Joey Noondike trade, if I'm uh, not mistaken. And yeah, man, and it's wicked and it's awesome and I love it. It just is so heavy and yeah, you can clunk somebody over the head if you're playing the game Clue it would be one of the murder weapons. So that's basically it, guys. Do get into my draws. I'm going to be giving uh, the sets away, I guess, over the next two breaks. So be sure to get into my draws. Uh, please be sure to sub like, hashtag draw, and I'll be full cards live and direct from a place called Montreal, Quebec. <laughs>